for fastest and cheapest Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, EasyMutt.com. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's on, Son of Fire here, back with another video, and today I'm be bringing you guys my free New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. Now, I uploaded this uh, earlier in the year, but a lot of that has changed since then. A lot of the past plays that I showed in there I d might not even run anymore, and a lot of the setups are pretty outdated. So, I'm just going to bring you guys an updated one on most of the setups I run now. A lot of the meta has changed as well, so a lot of the formations that I showed in that aren't going to be yet useful. Anyways, starting out, I'm going to start out out of these pass heavy formations and come out in some of the I form single backs later in the video. Now, starting out, I'm going to come out in my favorite formation first. That's the gun tight offset tight end. Now, pretty much everybody should know this by now, but the way you get four receivers on the field, just go to packages, flick your right stick to the right. That's just going to get four receivers. You guys see, we don't have a tight end on our field. We have way more speed, and it just makes the offense that much deadlier. So. I'm going to set my audibles here. I'll show all my audibles out of every formation that I run. So I put X as Y out HB swing, LB as Saints halfback wheel, and then RB as Saints spot. And I leave inside zone there. Now the play I'm going to show first is Y out HB swing. And there is a one play touchdown out of it. So I'll show that first. There's actually two that I want to go over. So these are cover three beaters. So just a base cover three defense. Now the setup's going to be pretty simple. For the this first one, you want your fastest receiver right here with Will Fuller. Uh, typically, I like to have my fastest guys on the outside of this formation, and then I like to have some better like route running possession receivers here on the inside. We have Hopkins, but this other Kiki QT, I think, is not the best, but we can he works. Anyways, the first setup is going to be pretty basic. What I like to do is just put B on a streak. He's going to be the man we're targeting in this one. And then I'm just going to put Y on a streak as well and X on a drag. Now, you guys will see why I have this particular setup. Basically, we're just trying to free B open for this touchdown. And then you guys will see me do this a lot on my one play touchdowns. I'm going to slide my pass protection to the right. And I'm also going to double team this D end or outside linebacker that's rushing. He happens to be rushing. So I'm going to double team him because we're going to roll out to the right just so we get a better passing on this and we get a better throwing animation. So let's right here just snap the ball roll out to the right set our feet and then just pass lead that to the right you guys see will four it's right over the top of that cover three there's no outside third i'll show you guys the replay after i run it a couple more times though so again the setup be on a streak y on a streak as well and then just x on a drag uh blocking rb as well rb is actually on a decent route a decent check down route but for this you want more blockers you can't stock max seven out of this set which is kind of annoying but you can just motion people over if that is an issue him sending your opponent sending seven so again just x on drag y on a streak and b on a streak and then just slide to the right double team that d end if you even want to get a little more glitch here you could just motion carlos hide over here to get maybe a little bit better blocking and then you're just like i said trying to roll out to the right here you can throw that on the run if you have like dashing dead eye or any of those chemistries, but typically it's better to set your feet. You have less risk of throwing an inaccurate ball. I'll show you guys one last time real quick before I show you guys the replay. Max protect, B on a streak, Y on a streak, X on a drag. Now if the one play touchdown is not open, if he's not actually running a cover three, or if he actually does something to stop this, and the way you would stop this is just putting those corners in deep halves, his cornerbacks, but that would ultimately lead Hopkins wide open. But even if he is running that, you either have A or X wide open. His user can't defend both. And super simple way, you can either just check that down. You just should make sure that you recognize it early. Again, I'm rolling out. Pass leading that to the right. And you guys see the corner is getting baited by that corner out. So I'll show you guys the replay. Explain why I do everything out of this particular setup. And then I'll get into the next cover three beater. So here in our first setup. Uh, the reason that we, first of all, I'm going to go over why we have Y on a streak. Y on a streak is basically some, he, uh, vet, sometimes he's going to end up moving that safety over just a little bit. Uh, he actually got bumped there, so his route was a little bit less effective than it typically would. Look how much Fuller is in front of him. And that's just that's a little bit of the speed difference as well. But you guys see a lot of times he's going to pull him down. Not in this particular case. That's why it was sort of a tighter throw, but... A lot of times out of this slot, Kiki Kuti, he actually gets bumped out of his route to the left even a little bit, but 
He's going to pull down that safety to the left a little bit. And like I said, since we're throwing this to the right, that's going to give us a little bit more separation. Now, also this corner out by Hopkins. Look at this outside third on the right side. He's just going to get pulled down. He's not even going to recover really until the ball is released. And by then, it's too late, especially with the fast receiver like Will Fuller. So that's pretty much why that works against the cover three. I'm going to get into another setup I like to run. This is another cover three beater. It's also going to be out of the same play, same sort of set. So I'm going to be on the same hash marks. Again, what I'm doing is just blocking RB. We want to get, to get the most protection. Then out of this setup, what I actually like doing is just putting Y on a drag. You can just put Y on a streak as well. And then just leave B on a drag. Pretty basic setup. The only adjustment you're making is Y on this streak. If you want, you can put him on a drag, but this clear out can actually help you a little bit. Again, I'm sliding to the right and double teaming that D end. And then I'm just going to roll out to the right once again here. Roll out. Now, since that receiver is super slow and he actually did get bumped, it was uh, did take a little bit longer to develop. He's still zone 92 speed and floor was like 97. So like I said, get a fast receiver there. But... If you want less risk of him getting bumped, like I said, you can put Y on a drag, but this clear out does seem to open it up just a tad more. Again, you guys see A is doing the dirty work. He's pulling that outside third down, so I'm gonna roll out actually under pressure here. So I'm gonna have to throw it on the run. And yeah, we get that inaccurate throw, but uh, he just got a bad shed animation right there. Let's see if we can open it up one more time here while I'm a streak, max protect, slide to the right, double team that guy. I think on that one I forgot to slide to the right, but rolling out, setting my feet, and just releasing this ball to the right, even with an, only a 92 speed receiver, which is still getting over the top. So if you get like Devin Hester or whoever there, he's going to put in work for you. So that's going to pretty much do it for our one play touchdowns out of this tight offset tight end. And I'm just going to reset so we go against some other formations, and then I'll get into the rest of my wideout HB swing setup. So let's just go against random zone coverage now. If he's running man coverage, obviously you can just snap the ball here and A is just going to destroy him. This corner route is so good. The set has just been gaining so many popularities just because of how good the corner route is. And something I should mention out of this head offset tenant is that if you do want to get a little bit glitchy, you get two slot apprentices, put them both in the slot here. That way you can put Y on a corner route here. You have two corner routes, super difficult to defend. That's the way I run the formation, but this Y out HB swing, you can just put two drags on the field in this corner route. Super effective. You just snap throw a drag here and end up picking like 10 yards up, 8 yards on that reception. And it's just super good for the high-low reads. You just make life easier on yourself. Don't just do all these complicated route combos. Sometimes it's easier to simplify it. You guys see again, that looks like match coverage right there. Hopkins is going to destroy it. And typically against cover two, it actually is better to take the drag because sometimes those quad flats do a good job of baiting the corner out. But... He, this Hopkins route gets over the top of so many zones. Again, we're getting like match coverage. He's just going to eat against that. Let's see if we can actually audible to a cover two here. All right, let's just audible to a cover two. I'll put those cloud flats on the field. Again, just Y on a drag, A on a drag. And let's roll out here. You guys see, if I wait long enough, pass lead that up the field to the right. That's an easy dot, easy completion. So again, another setup I like to run out of this, just put B on a streak and Y on a drag. Sort of a high-low read. This is pretty much the same as the one-play touchdown, just putting Y on a drag. And again, we have a high-low Y and A. I see A. A would have got open there, but Y just had so many, so much space. I could have threw it to either. We did get the bad throw, though. So one last time, Y on a drag, B on a streak. Just roll out to the right here, and you guys see. I'll just take Y. I had A wide open, but I'm trying to mix things up. And then I'll just head into our last setup out of this Y out HB swing. It's just going to be B on and out and our Y on a hitch. I'm just leaving the post in this. You can do whatever you want with the post, but again, B is going to pull down that zone. A getting wide open. That's pretty much going to be it. Sorry that this play did take so much or take so long, but it is definitely the best play out of this entire ebook. And it's just going to set up the rest of your offense. Now let's just move on to the inside zone. What I like to do out of the inside zone, just to throw off your opponent, just motion out this receiver to the running back side. It's just going to throw him off a little bit. Now, I wish I had Duke Johnson in the game, actually. I thought that he was, but I guess not. He would have been a little bit faster, but again, I'm just motioning out stills. 
this is good against if pe people like to go to like dollars big dime three two sixes and this should pick up like five yards of rip against some of those spread out sets if they're in like a three four odd i don't re recommend running it unless you know you can get to the outside there that linebacker just got a shed so it is what it is but like i said this isn't a play you're just gonna come out and run 15 10 10 15 times a game you know i run this like maybe five times a game at most uh, but if they're spreading it out like this, you can definitely pick up some yards. You guys see, I'm getting decent runs, but I guess you're not really going to pop off these to the crib unless you have a superstar running back. And this is pretty much a pass heavy ebook. So there you guys see, I'm picking up some decent yards, but I'm not going to spend too much time. It is just an inside zone. Let's move to the next play. Saints halfback wheel. Now this is a, the second most play I run probably out of this entire ebook, I would say. Uh, only second to this wild HB swing. Now this is a very basic setup, or I only run like one setup out of this. It's just gonna be put X on it flat, and then B on an out. Now we're gonna be opening up RB. Our first read though is gonna be B. I'm gonna motion him out. If he's open, I'm throwing it to him. Now we didn't even have that much separation. A probably would have got open, but against man coverage, if he's playing like a cover three, you motion him out. He should be getting open. Again, just X on a flat, B on an out. I'm not going to throw it to B. Let's see if we can get RB open here. You guys see, look how open he is on that wheel route. Usually what I like to do when I'm throwing the wheel route is just low ball and pass lead to the inside. So in this case, we're pass leading right on this wheel route just because you don't want to take a hit, especially with your running back. It's already risky with him catching the football. So again here, I'm just throwing that. Oh, shoot, that was a terrible read. Uh, I should have threw it to the corner out there, but... I was just trying to force feed that wheel route. See if we can get it open here. If not, you can just obviously check it down to X if he's just completely open like he was on that play. But a lot of times the zones are just going to sit on that flat route, which is why the wheel route gets open so much. The wheel route doesn't like go all the way to the outside, which makes it a great route stock. Uh, here you guys see again, I'm able to low ball that to the inside. We get the good possession catch. Even if I'm not sure why I was on that linebacker, but we, whatever. One last time though, X on a flat. I'll see if I can hit the corner out. This corner out's not the best. It's not really going to beat man coverage, but you can actually get it open. You guys see the sort of pass lead angle is not the best. You can take some hits, but you do want to pass lead that to the outside. Next, or next and last play out of this gun tight offset tight end is going to be the Saints out. I like running this to the wide side, so I'm just going to respot the ball over to the right a little bit more. I basically only have one setup I run out of this as well. Just going to be X on a streak. And just going to put B on a hitch as well. Now, you can, a lot of times I'm also going to motion that player out. That A corner out. Because I'm not really even going to go to that side ever. And I already have a corner out. So, both of them are pretty much useless. So, here's the setup I like to run. Just motion over Hopkins. Put him on a block. And then you just put X on a streak. And you can put Y on a hitch. You don't want to put Y or B on a hitch, not Y. You don't want to put B on like a drag because you already have that table route. Here you guys see uh, the table route pulls down the zone. We're able to open up that corner route. I'll show you guys one last time. I barely run this like one time a game, so I don't really even have to show you guys this too much just because it's not a main part of my offense. It's good to go to if you want to mix things up. And like I said, if you have a Slot Apprentice, you can get the better corner route on your field. Just make sure that you don't get baited, especially with how slow the corner routes are. You don't want to throw it predeterminedly and just get baited. So I always like to wait, especially on those corner routes, just to make sure that he's open. You can tell, though. Anyways, let's go ahead and head to our next formation. It's going to be this Y Trio off week. Now, this is the second most formation I run. And my audibles are going to be sticking up, Saints out, and PA wide receiver in. And... I'm also just going to come out in four verticals every play no matter what. Now something you can do, if since I don't even go to this formation a lot, is I like to just come out and tight offset tight end. And then you can just audible actually to this Y off trio. That just gives you the four receivers. But since I'm trying to save time, I'm not going to do that every time. Now, like I said, I come out in four verticals. Four verticals can actually be pretty good because look how close up that seam route is. If they're calling like a cover three or something, you can just come out here snap the ball and just hit that seam route very easily now that was a little bit deeper than it typically would be but you can like a lot of times just snap throw that vertical route again you guys see i'm able to get him over oh he actually played that but i don't really go to this four verticals too much only when i know they're running like cover three but 
it's a good play to have in your arsenal and you might as well just come out in it even if you're not really going to run it you guys see i'm able to get it open just with a simple throw on the run pass lead so that's pretty much it for the four verticals i don't really have a setup out of it or anything but just that seam route can get pretty good next play is sticking up i don't even really run this play too much it's just nice with the two crossers i like to just run a max protect setup but this is a good play against max protect especially if he's sending seven people it's going to be pretty difficult for him to defend a slant and a post route now you can motion that slant in or you can motion that post in so you basically just want to wait a crossing route a lot of times that can get user though so if it if he is just dropping back i wouldn't recommend it a good setup if he's just running stock coverage is just A on a drag and then RB on the streak and B on the slant, something like this. And if you want to make the crosser a little bit shorter, you can motion him in just so that it doesn't take as long to develop, especially if he's sending that pressure. Here you guys see B is wide open. I'm pretty sure the good, actually glitchy thing about this play is that like some of those match zones like soft squats are actually going to follow that post route all the way across the field. So you guys saw that post route just carried that zone all the way across the field and our slant actually gets open so pretty glitchy right there again just a on a drag rb on a streak and b on a slant this play was way better last year it's still okay this year but it's definitely not one that i really go to i'll go to it just to mix things up if he's running like cover three cover two anything that i know can crossers can beat so it's pretty much it for sticking up the one run play i run out of this wild trio is halfback base it's always good to like mix in a base you guys see it does have a lot of big play potential that was an awful run stick by me but you can actually uh catch people off guard running this base especially if you have a good running back now like i said the run plays out of these shotguns aren't going to be the best this is a pass heavy formation again not really a play you want to go to often but if they're in the dollar if they're in a big dime you can definitely attack them running this base i'll show you one last time here see if we can get something going yes there we are actually able to cut it up and pick up a decent gain of yardage so a uh, great play right there not one i go to a lot but again it's nice to have in your arsenal now this is the main play i go to go or i run out of this y off trio saints outs it's a very good play my setup that i run the most is just going to be block y and just put x on a drag High low read between X and RB, and we also have a high low between A and B. So just reading the zone, seeing which one is covered. Here we see B wide open. And my first read is always going to be the out route. If he's playing hard flats, that's going to be open. If he's playing a curl flat or a cloud flat, I'm throwing it to A relatively early just so I don't have to put myself in a situation where I'm under pressure, have it to roll out and make a throw. I want to make a quick snap read from the pocket and pick up seven yards to my tight end, as you guys saw I just did there. Not even a good tight end. I'm just easily able to throw that to the flat, attack it. Again, you can just come out here and dot up. Now, there actually is a package where you can get a running back there. I probably should have showed you guys, but I forgot to do it. I'll show you after if I remember, but there's a way you can get a running back there. But like I said, I'm coming out in tight offset tight end audibling anyway just to get a wide receiver there way more speed even than a running back and way better catching so that's just a high low read between the flat and the out route you guys see look how open this flat route gets super open especially people playing over the top this is a way you can just kill them get them out of their game plan now let's head over to x and rb now i like to just wait till they're in the middle of the field a lot of times the user is going to make a mistake there it looks like they just dropped everybody in coverage so kind of difficult for me to make a read again it looks like they're in a sort of heavy play but you can also put x on in route if you want a slower developing route rather than that um drag route and it does get a little bit more depth on the field as far as when it crosses so they're actually uh playing this relatively well but with a user a lot of times they might just head over to the right and then they won't see the post coming from that right to the left so again here see if we can actually get it open with the low ball uh we he actually dumbed out i'm not sure that was a mid read a lot of times nobody's even running mid reads but uh, i'm not sure why this is actually not getting open but it is what it is just take my word for it this high low read is going to be pretty good they're just defending that post heavy so i'm going to take the drag every time but that's a setup that's pretty much the only setup i really like to run out of this saints outs now let's go to our next play pa wide receiver in i have two setups for this one just stock all i'm doing is smart routing b this is it 
play I don't go to a lot, but a lot sometimes they just sleep on that deep post route, sort of slow developing post route, and you can catch them off guard with it. Again, just stock. You have that, that drag. You have that deep dig with Hopkins if you want to hit it. And that uh, post route that forwards on actually does get open against cover three, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of times, the other setup I run is just A on a streak and X on a drag. This is a way simpler high-low read. It seems to get open a little bit more. Also, keep in mind that you do have that wheel route. So if he's playing like hard flats, uh, cover two hard flat, you can actually get that open. But one last time here, A on the streak, X on his drag. Let's run it. And I miss my read. So I'm just going to throw it to X on the sideline. That's going to do it for a Y off trio. There is another play I could run, but I'm this video is already going a little bit longer than I expected. And we still have a couple of other formations to go out of. Now, there is this Taysom Hill quarterback. I haven't really looked into this. I've this quarterback blast. Uh, I'm assuming it's not the best in mud just because all the enforcers are going to fumble easily. You can run it and just get down on the ground, but I'm not going to go over it since I don't run it. The other formation I'm going to go over is going to be this uh, Trey Y Flex. Now, I only like to run a couple of plays out of this. It's going to be the only plays I run are SE corner and this read option, as you can tell from how many times I've called the play. But read option, I like sometimes just to spread it out, especially if you have a mobile quarterback, you can catch people off guard, and the inside zone is pretty good. It has a lot of big play potential as well. So I, a lot of times I'm just coming out and like tight offset, tight end. I see that they're in sort of a spread out set where this inside zone's not gonna work even against spread out sets. So I might just audible to my tray wide flex, hit him with the read option where I see you guys see those linebackers moving out of position and now it looks like we have a favorable box. Uh, the blockers are actually glitchy but we still picked up a lot of yards so super good to run against spread sets. You'll actually pick up a ton of yards and if you do have a mobile quarterback you can definitely hit them with that quarterback run uh, more often than you think. The CPU is playing it well right here but more time I actually am. Once you are able to pop it off though look how much yards I'm picking up with Watson. Imagine if you have like a Lamar out there, just picking up tons of yards. This is an offense I ran earlier in the year, just read option with Lamar Jackson. Super glitchy and actually very difficult to stop. Especially since I'm not running this as my main offense anyway. It's good to mix in a couple of these a game. And if he has like a good run defense, if you come out in this trade Y flex, you can obviously audible. But if you want to pass out of it, what I like to do is just put X on and out, Y on a streak, and just keep the other routes. You can block RB if you want, but I motion four in. Snap him right when he's in, in between. You can just dump it down to him. High low read between the corner and the out route. The corner route's not my favorite out of this set, but uh, you can also hit A on that sort of glitchy route if you catch his user in no man's land or like on this left side heavy. Again, let's see if we can actually get B open. He's going to be wide open here. Just passing that up the field. Now, he's not Hopkins, I haven't seen him really get open that open against any coverage. You know, as any time I've ran the play, but right there you guys see he did get open. You can actually catch your opponent sleeping. You might be able to pick up a decent game one last time though. See if I can actually get A open here. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, but I was just trying to force feed. I had the corner wide open, but sometimes you can catch A open. There, I mean, there is no user over the middle of the field, so it's kind of hard for me to get some of these post routes open. And, if you if that makes any sense and if I want like a quick streak or a quick seam route I can also head to this tray Y flex rather than the Y off trio and you can catch Y in this sort of seam route that I like to go to on the goal line I actually run this play on the goal line quite a bit the read option and the verticals play are pretty much my go-to on the goal line a lot of times you catch this streak just wide open no zones really end up defending it on the goal line it can be super uh, super annoying to defend, especially with the inside zone that you're worried about. So that's pretty much it for my Trey Y Flex. And that's pretty much it for all these shotgun formations. I've nibbled in like some of these five wide sets, like this empty Y Saint. I've ran Saints Fork a couple of times. But like I said, you're not really running this at all, especially with all these good formations. Waff Trio and Tight Offset Tight End. Obviously, as you can tell by the time length I spent on tight offset tight end is definitely my go-to. Now let's head to this. Uh, let's go to iForm. Uh, really, when I'm only running iForm, is just going to be this iForm close. And then I'm also going to have audible set for this iForm slot flex. I'll just set both of them here. Now my audibles for this iForm close are stretch, dive, obviously. And then I have P 
PA Saints out or whatever it's called and then drag wheel pretty much the only good plays out of this formation I ran this a little bit earlier in the year but I've used it less but if your opponent can't defend it then you might as well just go to it uh, let's get Duke Johnson here but basic the basics of it are just stretch and dive it can be pretty annoying to defend especially if you don't have run defense and if you catch someone without run defense you can just go to this and run it as run it the entire game if they can't stop it so the good thing about this heavy Saints offense is that you actually do have a couple of good run formations and this I form close definitely one you guys see uh, a lot of big play potential if I'm able to cut this inside but here we should be able to get the numbers stretch we all know about stretch Madden 20 super difficult to defend um, but pretty much you guys all know how to run stretch dive here I would have ran dive but you guys see look I'm just Stretch is just a walking 10 yards, especially if you catch someone out, off, if they're off their game, you're already dotting them up out of tight offset, and you, especially out of these second and ones, I like to just go to I-form close, and you can actually end up picking like 20 yards up, just make life so much easier on yourself, and then this halfback dive, basically just mixing between stretch and dive, I'm not even really passing the ball, I'll show you guys one setup I have out of both those plays, but when I go to I-form close, I'm running the ball, unless they have, I see they have a looks like they have a super good run defense if they actually come out in a 3-4 odd defense that I recognize then I might just maybe audible to my pass or I could even take a timeout or even worth wasting it down but you guys see dive stretch 10 yards a rip super annoying to defend but I'm not going to advocate this as my main offense I don't really run this as I'm not, if you're going to run I form close just come out in Raiders book but super good to have these plays out of Saints book now, the main pass play I actually do run is just going to be PA Saints. What's it called? PA Saints shot. Now, what I'm doing is just putting A on an in and Y on a wheel. It's just a relatively basic route combination. And you're usually looking for B open on this crosser. He actually did uh, relatively well at defending it there. But like I said, I don't go to this often, especially out of I form. These routes that take a lot of time to develop. Sometimes don't get open. You could actually get X open maybe. Here you guys see we actually had two routes wide open, that wheel and that crosser. But you guys see you can get can get open. And if you like max protect, you can actually get enough time to have success running the play. But drag wheel. What I like to do is just put Y on the wheel route, block RB, and that's pretty much it. We're basically just trying to get A open. If not, we can hit Y on that wheel route. I could have also hit B on the drag. If I want, I can also just block Y and RB and just keep a high-low. I'm in the wrong play, but just block Y, block RB. We have a drag, a post, and this corner route. So that can actually get open. So my tight end just got bumped. He's super slow, and he still got open. So good play to mix in out of I-form if you're planning on using this formation a lot. But I don't really run this too much. Let's head into the I-form slot. There's a couple of decent runs out of that that I want to go over. Mostly just the Saints halfback zone and then the dive alert smoke. I've set my audibles to that. I don't really pass ever out of this formation, but yeah, there, I wish there was a stretch out of this, but unfortunately it's not. It's like a weird play. The Saints halfback zone though is pretty, it's very similar to a stretch. It's an off tackle. What I like to do is just flip it to the left and then you guys see you can get some good blocks. Uh, a lot of big play potential as well if you catch your defender in the wrong gap. You can definitely put in work with this. You can also run it to the right if you have a favorable box, but I typically like to run it to the strong side, which will be the side of the, my receivers. Just seems to get overall better blocking. You have a chance to get to the outside, as you guys see I just did there. So it is. it does have a chance to get blown up in the backfield. That's my only sort of concern with the play. And then we all know about Dive. If he's just... Coming out, leaving the middle like open, spreading his D-line, doing whatever. You can just come out here, run your dive alert smoke, and you should be able to pick up some decent yards. Now here, that box was pretty much stacked. I wouldn't have ran dive there, but you, you guys all know when to run dive. Right here is where I would run dive, and I'm obviously going to pick up some huge yards just running halfback dive. Now a lot of times in I form, dive's not really going to be open, but if they are worried about like a stretch, then you might catch them off guard with the dive. One quick passing play is just this. You can just come out here, run it stock, and it should be pretty decent for you guys to see A, just wide open here, but I'm not passing the ball out of I form slot. If you're gonna pass the ball, please just go into tight offset tight end. Don't run I form slot. 
If you go into I form, you're definitely trying to run the ball. Now the last formation I'm gonna go over today is gonna be wing stack. There's a couple of other formations I run like doubles. I use, uh, I've looked into the dive is pretty good. You also have this uh, single back wing tight that I've ran a couple of times. You have the dive and the stretch that can be pretty good, but it's pretty easy to blow up and people can't catch on easily. This wing stack though is super good to run. Especially if you just want to come out in it on your first and 10, just catch someone off guard right off the bat. You can definitely catch somebody for a big play. Now, here are my audibles. Stretch, dive, double in shot, and tight end spot. I'll start with the stretch and dive. Let's just go to a random zone. And I actually do have some dots out of this formation as well. When I'm running dive, what I like to do is just motion will four in, snap him right about there. He usually blocks up the middle, but look at these run holes. These run holes are going to be opening up a lot for me. I'm using slow Carlos Hyde, unfortunately. I keep forgetting him to sub him out, but here I'm just gonna run stretch. You don't have to motion out of the stretch, but if you want to, the motion can get a little bit glitchy, If, but also can give away which side you're running it to, so you could even mix it up. Here's a dive again. I can motion Hopkins if I want. I can't motion snap him as early as the other one, but look at these holes. I'm popping up huge runs, and like I said, this is actually my favorite formation to run the ball out of. Not the I-form, but this. But a lot of people are going to be more comfortable out of the I-form. Like I said, if you're running stretch, you can just motion him out. You can motion snap him right when he passes those tight ends, but uh, it can, like I said, this can give away which side you're running it to, so you can actually sort of mix it up, like something like this. I could flip the run to the left, and then I could still motion Wolf 4 and snap it right there catch your catch his user off guard the identifier cam definitely helps these run plays just seeing which side his users on running away from it using motion to get his user in a unfavorable spot <clears throat> you can also motion this tight end when i'm motioning i'm motioning this tight end because a lot of times nobody shadows him and what i mean by shadow is that linebacker is going to follow him to the left side of the field if i motion fells over a lot of times those linebackers go here nothing happens at all and it's basically just giving us an extra blocker so that's pretty much what i'm going to do you guys see i get a ton of one-on-ones and with a good running back you should easily be able to make a man miss unless he's like an experienced user defender and strafes up but a lot of times the outside is just open look how open the outside is here just running stretch this is going to be the last time i run stretch but you guys pretty much get the gist of stretch. This is just so good because you can easily just flip it and it's very symmetrical so you don't really lose anything just flipping the play. Dive, if he spreads his D-line or whatever, spreads his defense, you can catch him off guard with a dive. <clears throat> Here's a pass play I wanna go over. Now this is gonna be a primarily a cover two beater. So if he's running cover two, some sort of cover two and like bagging your pass plays, you can actually come out in this wing stack. All you're doing is motion over Hopkins and what I like to do is just put RB on a streak. Just in case he users B, then you can actually hit Will 4, but I actually like to keep the play action. It's just going to throw him off, and then just pass lead B to the outside. Once he passes the cloud flat, he gets like a super weird speed animation. I went over this in my wing stack mini scheme, but if you want me to go a little bit more in depth in any of these, I have a video on a ton of these formations. Uh, if you guys want to go check those out, but this is just basic out of everything. I just want to put it all together. So I'm just motioning B out. This, like I said, destroys cover two. If you get a good rack animation, you can easily take this for six. Like I said, I can just swerve out there. I get a good rack catch animation. If you have a lot of speed out there, you can actually take it for six. Granted, that was a slow safety on a 99 overall receiver, but it's not gonna make a difference. I ran this in game and just completely dotted people up. Even if you are throwing this to the sideline, it's still, such an easy throw and you guys see look at that dot super open it's not going to be any other coverage you can't actually get the crosser open against like a cover three i would assume but uh primarily we're trying to hit b when we come out in this play and it's primarily to beat cover two i'll show you guys the crosser getting open here it is going to be a slow developing route though look how slow that is by that time and in that setup, his user is almost always going to follow it. So if you want to like mix it up, get his user down, you can just put A on like a delay fade. And basically, just catch him off guard. Make him decide between the crosser and the delay fade. And a lot of times, the delay fade can actually get open here. So let's see if we can just release him. Boom, he's open now. There's no user, like I said, so they're all going to be around the ball. But that's pretty much it. Last play, tight end spot. 
What I like to do is just put B on a hitch and RB on a streak. I'm also going to smart out A, make them a little bit deeper. Pretty basic setup, but it is from a compact formation. So a lot of times you can just snap throw these hitches and pick up a lot of yards. I would go to this play a lot in the goal line. Catch people in a run defense and then these hitches, table routes get open. Now if they are sending pressure, you're going to have to make that adjustment block. You can, whatever I would recommend doing. I should accidentally put A on a streak there, but... This dig can get open as well. You guys see Will Fuller doing his thing. And then you basically have a high-low read between the dig and the hitch. And then the corner and the table route. If you want to block your running back out of this, you can just put RB on a flat. Smart out A and leave B on that hitch. Something like this. Can definitely super basic route combo, but you can actually get it open. Just like that. And boom. That's going to go ahead and actually do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this free ebook, make sure to leave a like on the video. Not a lot of people doing this for you guys, just uploading free ebooks on YouTube, content that you would have to pay for anywhere else. Make sure you guys go drop a subscription to the channel, show you guys support, and also drop a like on this video if you did enjoy and would like me to upload maybe an ebook out of any other formation. I was thinking about re uploading my West Coast ebook because a lot of plays have changed out of that as well. But yeah, also toss me a follow on Twitter. My link will be in the description. Go check that out. It would be much appreciated. And peace. I'm out of here.